Hello, folks, and welcome to your Wide Out Afternoon Video Weather Briefing on this Wednesday, the 17th of April. I'm Day Weather Meteorologist Mark Heuer. A strong cold front is pushing south through far southern Wyoming this afternoon and entered northern sections of the state last night and early this morning. Blustery winds and rain and snow showers are accompanying the passing cold front as it pushes through the Cowboy State well below average temperatures going to be found across most of the state through your Saturday. Some additional areas of light, lower elevation rain and snow shower activity and some light snow above about 6,000 to 6,500 feet as well will come and go tonight on into your Thursday through early Saturday. Then as we head into Sunday, going to be trending much warmer and dry and that trend will carry on into much of next week. Here's I-90 south of Sheridan and I-90 from southern Montana through Sheridan to Buffalo east towards Gillette. It's seen snowfall on and off from last night through today. Roadways in this section just wet though and that holds true for much of I-90 here this afternoon. Further south of Buffalo though still some light to moderate snow and snow shower activity. Some big old flakes out there. Spring snow showers and we'll see a chance now, some slushy roads, maybe some slick spots on sections of I-90 and I-25 into tonight, but don't expect any big travel trouble. And temperatures have become rather chilly through much of the state. You can see right where the cold front is, northerly winds and 30s and 40s mark the cold front. And we'll be looking at temperatures continuing to fall through the rest of today. Still 68 in Denver. 55 this afternoon at this time in Laramie. The cold front hadn't made it over the Laramie range yet. 60s and 70s in southern Nebraska, while just 30s and 40s here across the Cowboy State. For tonight, well, we're going to be looking at those areas of late day and evening, lower elevation, rain and snow showers in all light snow showers overnight tonight. Trace to one inch through this blue shade area for lower elevations tonight. Most roadways staying wet, but some slick spots can be expected with one to three inches of snow across higher elevations above about 7,000 feet or so. And there will be some areas of fog possible tonight and some reduced visibility. Northeastern Wyoming, mostly dry and cold, some areas of fog. Likewise in the Bighorn Basin and here in southwestern Wyoming, going to stay on the warmer side of the cold front. Temperatures pretty seasonal and chilly, some areas of fog in the southwest as well. For your Thursday. Well, we'll be looking at areas of lower elevation, rain and snow showers here throughout this green shade area. No accumulations, lower elevations for your Thursday. A trace to two inches though across higher elevations, especially here sections of Wyoming 230. The lower sections of 130 that are open could see a touch of some accumulation in the higher elevations of I-80, but no real travel problems. Touch of additional snow as well, higher elevations of uh, 16, Powder River Pass, US 14, maybe the Western Passes as well. Dry and chilly Thursday with light winds out in the east and northeast. Temperatures for highs just 30s and 40s for your Thursday across many lower elevations except for some 40s to 50s here in the southwest. And other than far southwestern Wyoming, temperatures throughout the vast majority of the state running about 15 to 20 degrees below average and that trend will continue on to Friday and Saturday. And tomorrow we'll talk a little bit more about it, but you're going to have to watch out for possibly some small accumulations of snow here in southeastern Wyoming, especially higher stretches of I-80 Friday night into early Saturday. And as a whole, four-year travel impacts on Thursday. We're going to be looking at overall low impacts, but there will be continued some moderate impacts, especially for higher elevations from slushy to slick roads on your Thursday morning, maybe including a few sections of I-80, but overall no big travel impacts, no wind to speak of either. And the vast majority of the state just seeing low impacts from scattered rain, snow showers, and generally some wet roads for your Thursday. Thanks for watching today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.